The evolution of AI is much more complicated than you might think. AI as we know it is nothing in front of what's about to come in the near future. In this video, we will dive into the seven stages of AI evolution and try to understand each stage as much as possible. So let's begin. Stage one, rule-based AI. Rule-based AI systems are considered stage one in AI development. This stage involves the development of AI systems that follow pre-programmed rules and algorithms to solve specific tasks. These systems operated on if-then logic, making decisions based on predefined rules. These systems perform tasks limited to the rules they are programmed with and cannot learn or adapt to new situations. Rule-based AI is very basic since these systems are not capable of self-learning from data fed to them. Instead, they rely only on predefined rules and algorithms to make decisions. To better understand this, let's take the example of chess. Imagine playing chess against a computer. The computer knows all possible moves and outcomes based on pre-programmed rules. It can decide the best move based on these rules, but it cannot learn and adapt beyond that. These systems are perfect for tasks with clear-cut rules, like diagnosing a mechanical problem or filing taxes. However, these systems are firmly limited to pre-programmed algorithms. They lack the ability to understand context. Stage 2. Contextual AI Stage 2 is where AI starts understanding the world around it. At stage 2, AI systems become aware of the context around the given task. It starts understanding and retaining the context, meaning it starts remembering previous interactions and use the knowledge from those interactions in its future responses. So, instead of relying solely on predefined rules, context-based AI adapts its responses based on its past interactions. This enables AI to deliver more accurate and personalized outcomes. A great example of this is your smartphone's assistants like Siri or Google Assistant. These assistants use context to provide relevant answers based on previous user queries and interactions. For instance, if you tell Siri to set a reminder for your dentist appointment tomorrow, it will remember the date, time, and purpose of the reminder. The next time you ask about your appointments, Siri can provide you with relevant information without you needing to repeat the details. This showcases how Siri, like other AI systems in Stage 2, is capable of retaining context and using that information to make interactions with users in a more efficient and personalized capacity. Stage 3. Expert AI Systems at this stage, AI becomes more specialized, showcasing its ability to excel in specific tasks and domains, and also starts cloning human expertise in various fields. Expert AI systems go beyond basic understanding and comprehension. At this stage, the AI performs deep analysis, synthesis, and evaluation of the information it encounters. These AI systems were specifically designed to outperform human experts within their predefined domains showcasing the potential for AI to augment human capabilities in specific areas. You can think of expert AI system as a highly specialized professional, like a world-renowned surgeon or a top-tier scientist. These AI systems focus their attention on mastering one specific area, and they do it exceptionally well. They go beyond basic understanding, reaching a level of expertise that surpasses human capabilities. An ideal example of this is IBM's Watson, IBM's Watson was designed to excel at answering questions on the quiz show Jeopardy. Watson not only competed against human opponents, but also became the show's best player to date. Stage 4. Reasoning AI Systems This stage marks a profound shift in AI capabilities, as it transitions from being rule-based and context-aware AI to becoming a thinking, reasoning entity. AI systems in stage four start to mimic human thinking and reasoning processes. They begin to understand complex concepts, solve unfamiliar problems, and generate creative ideas. It is made possible by techniques like machine learning and deep learning. For example, stage four AI can read a book, understand the plot, and infer the motives of characters based on their actions. This AI can also analyze economic data, anticipate market trends, and suggest investment strategies. Stage 4 is where our current AI system stands right now. Even though Stage 4 AI mimics human intelligence, but it is still not equivalent to a human mind. It's more like a highly advanced tool specialized in thinking and reasoning while performing a task. Stage 5. Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. AGI is a significant hypothetical leap in the development of AI. It refers to type of artificial intelligence that equals to human intelligence in all aspects. AGI represents a milestone where AI systems can perform any intellectual task that a human can do. 
While AGI remains a work in progress, it enables AI to start understanding, learning, adapting, and implementing knowledge across a wide range of domains. It could effectively be able to perform any intellectual task a human being can do. For example, if you asked AGI to learn a new programming language, maybe write a new symphony, derive a complex mathematical theorem, or even understand human emotions, it should theoretically be able to do all of it. AGI is a direct threat to humanity. It will dominate every industry. Millions of people will lose their jobs after getting replaced by AI. Right now, AGI is just a concept. However, it is the frontier of AI research. AGI is where things start to get controversial, because if AI starts thinking exactly like a human being, things could get ugly pretty quick. Stage 6. Artificial Superintelligence, ASI. This stage involves the type of artificial intelligence that is more intelligent than humans. ASI is a huge upgrade to AGI, because AGI could perform only those tasks that a human can do. However, ASI systems could solve those problems too, which are currently beyond human comprehension. At this stage, AI gets the ability to improve itself without the human intervention. ASI could outperform humans in every technical field. It could solve complex global issues like climate change or disease. It could innovate and create beyond our current imagination. However, the threat ASI posed to humanity is enormous. ASI could also be the beginning of human extinction. Stage 7. AI Singularity the final and the most dangerous stage in the evolution of AI is AI singularity. It is a hypothetical point where AI evolves so rapidly and extensively that it fundamentally reshapes the world. The AI singularity represents a hypothetical future point where technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible. It is associated with ASI, leading to unforeseeable changes in human civilization. Some envision this as the end of humanity, while others foresee uploading human consciousness into computers or massive societal disruption. However, the concept of singularity remains speculative and controversial. AI singularity is still in the realm of science fiction, and there are no practical examples of its existence. Some experts regard it as a real possibility, others call it just a science fiction. But let's assume that the singularity is possible. Can we prevent it? Technologically speaking, the answer is yes, we just stop developing AI altogether. But socially speaking, the answer may very well be no. So, at the end of the day, we have to learn to coexist with artificial intelligence because AI will continue to evolve and get better with every passing day. Humanity will have to learn to tame AI before it gets out of hand and slave the entire human population. The purpose of this video is not to spread any kind of fear, but to spread awareness of what's next in the AI space. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you again next week with another video.